What is Agent Bricks? At its core is Databricks saying, stop gluing agents together, we got you covered. You point it to your problem, say, I need a chatbot that can answer questions about my internal policies and training documents. You connect your data, you click on a button and Agent Bricks does the rest. But here's the thing, okay? Can it be that simple? And what's the catch when you actually start using it? Especially when you're spinning up something like the Knowledge Assistant to turn all of your PDFs and Word documents into a private chatbot for your team. Let's break it down what it can actually do, what it costs, and most importantly, can you really spin up an enterprise AI agent in less than an hour? It's still really, really challenging to build agents that are super reliable and just get the work done. From a high level, you describe the high level problem that you're trying to solve. Okay, so build an agentic system that answer questions about automotives that we offer. Then we do three things. We automatically create LLM judges for your specific problem. Number two, we auto-optimize the system. Remember I said there's like a zoo of techniques coming out. And then once we've done that, we'll actually present to you cost versus quality graph where you can literally see, I can give you an AI system, the quality will be this much, but the cost will be that much. Under the hood, it spins up a system using Mosaic AI. It does the embeddings, it builds the index, fine-tunes models where needed, and when you're building the knowledge assistant, it basically ragifies your documents automatically. It breaks them down into retrievable chunks, creates searchable indexes, and it hooks it all up to a model endpoint so your chatbot is actually fast. And also you can integrate it in your apps. And it comes pre-wired with MLflow tracing so you can debug why it missed a question or whether your documents even contain the answer. Quick pause here because you can't just turn this thing on. To even try Agent Bricks as of now, your workspace needs some specifics. The Agent Bricks preview has to be enabled. It's easy to do so because you can just go to previews here, you just scroll all the way down to Mosaic AI Agent Bricks Preview and you flip this toggle on. Serverless compute also must be on since the whole thing runs on serverless. Unity catalog is mandatory because all of your connected data, all of your foundational models and even the vector indexes are governed by UC. The next important aspect is that it's only live in US East 1 and US West 2 as of now, so you're going to need to create a workspace in one of these regions. Oh, and you also need a serverless budget policy with a non-zero budget because these agents don't run for free, okay? We're going to see how much they cost in a bit. So if your environment isn't already set up with serverless, with Unity Catalog and Mosaic AI, this isn't really a two-click demo. There's still a little bit of platform work that needs to be done first. But if you're an admin, then it won't really take you two months to get these approvals. Listen, I understand if you're working for a big organization and you don't have access though. It really sucks, but at least this video can help you because you're not gonna feel like you're missing out. What's the upside of using Agent Bricks? As a solo developer, okay, working on a hobby project, you have a lot of alternatives that can be cheaper, but Agent Bricks is enterprise ready, okay? For most companies, building agents hasn't been about can we do it? Of course you can do it. It's about getting the right people with the right knowledge. It's about privacy. It's about governance. It's about speed and cost. Teams spend weeks just getting to a prototype, right? And then months iterating, manually context tuning, and still end up with something either too expensive to scale or too unreliable for production. Agent Bricks cuts that timeline drastically. And if we talk about the knowledge assistant specifically, think of onboarding, of compliance and support teams. You can finally hand them a single UI. They can query an internal knowledge base without constant retraining or having to build a custom rag from scratch. And the multi-agent supervisor is even cooler, okay? Because you can design an AI system that brings together both agents like the knowledge assistants and Genie Spaces so that they can work together towards a shared goal. I have a video on Genie Spaces as well, so check it out if you're interested in Databricks Genie. So now we just built a knowledge assistant for our R&D team, and we were able to understand our agent performance with automated evaluation, and we were able to improve its performance with natural language. Databricks showed a great demo at the summit, but obviously you need to test it out for yourself. I played around with it yesterday, and I created an assistant that can answer questions from the transcripts of all of my YouTube videos. I initially uploaded each transcript as a text file, but only the videos about Databricks, and then I uploaded all the rest to see that the agent actually updates. It was really fun because the answers that it gave me were good immediately. You also have citations, and specifically for this use case, it was great because as of now, I can always check to see what I said in previous videos. If you want me to demo this, let me know down in the comments. Also connect with me on LinkedIn and let me know if you tried it out as well. Let's talk about cost. We need to be real about these numbers because these agents aren't free and they're priced for enterprise use. 
based on Databricks' own beta pricing. You're looking at $0.2 per answer plus $0.75 per gig per day for the data you connect. For my quick experiment, it cost me $12, so you can test it out because it's not gonna break the bank. So let's say you have 10 employees, each asking 10 questions per day. Over a month, that's 3,000 answers at $0.2 each. That's $600 per month. Let's say you only have one gig of data. That's $22.5 for hosting. So your monthly cost would be around $623. That's not cheap for me as an individual, okay? But as a company, you can save so many hours by empowering your employees with readily available answers. And for 10 more productive employees, $600 is just coffee money. Keep in mind this cost is before you turn on extras like AI gateway for filtering sensitive info or tracing or agent monitoring. These are all built separately. For most companies, these costs are fine. The time saved actually offsets it, but for others, especially if adoption scales fast, this can add up very fast and you're gonna need to be prepared. On top of that, while agent bricks handles the hard part of tuning, it's not magic. You still need someone on your team who understands what a good agent output should look like because you're gonna want to tweak prompts. You're gonna want to adjust settings and you want to feed it feedback so that it improves over time. If you just set and forget, you're gonna get mediocre results. The real takeaway is this. Agent Bricks moves from A projects that take months and go nowhere to A systems that can spin up this week. Then you can refine and improve them and actually use them because they work. It doesn't really replace skilled teams though, okay? It just lets them focus on improving the agent instead of actually focusing on infrastructure and model tuning. And once you have the data governed by Unity Catalog, you're pretty much good to go, okay? Your AI engineers don't need to be data engineers and your data engineers don't need to be AI engineers. Both of these roles will be able to coexist peacefully. So we can stop arguing whether AI is data engineering or not. It's not. AI is for AI agents now. If you're thinking about jumping in, here's my advice. Make sure that your Databricks environment is already modern, that you have serverless, that you have Unity Catalog, and that you have Mosaic and AI enabled. Also do the math on your potential usage because per answer costs can grow faster than you think, okay? And most importantly, plan to iterate. Treat the first version as a starting point, then help the agent improve. If you're trying to decide whether to use something like AgentBricks or you want to understand how to get your platform ready so that you're not scrambling later, connect with me on LinkedIn, okay? I'm Dan Williams, I'm a Databricks MVP and I'm the founder of Decision Forest, a Databricks partner. We help companies not just use tools like AgentBricks, but actually build teams and platforms that scale responsibly. Because yes, okay, AgentBricks is fast, but the real work is making sure that it doesn't cost you more than it saves. Hope you enjoyed this video, and if you like what you heard, please like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.